what up what up what up it's your boy kirk back on the channel with another Streamyard video we're going to be talking about all the different features that Streamyard has added to the platform since my last video let's dive in right after this I'm Kirk Nugent and I challenge everyday people to think holistically about their relationship to technology at work for career success and at home for their fam families. As I mentioned, this is the f update to the full StreamYard video that I did a few weeks ago. They've added a number of new features, uh, including overlays that go up to five minutes, LinkedIn live event comments are now supported, audio quality has been significantly improved, um, custom RTMP, names can be changed and edited inside the backstage section and not necessarily having to go back out um, and the big one you can now have up to 10 people on screen this is what we call the zoom killer so without any further ado we're going to dive right in there's a special uh, uh, additional feature that i have not shared in this part of the video but i will share with you as we dive into it so here we go there's a long list of things that StreamYard is doing that's been, uh, you know, they added features that they've brought into the platform. Um, one of them is uh, that LinkedIn live events and comments are now supported. So, of course, we have LinkedIn page, event and profile as destinations that you can go to, um, that you can push to, you can stream to. But the event the events comments were not supported prior and now they are which is a really good thing but of course you still need to get approval from linkedin to be able to go live on linkedin it's like they have a select group of people that they're allowing to do that it's a weird thing the other thing um is custom rtmp which uh is a whole nother area i mean anybody who understands rtmp is will understand how to set that up but Streamyard did not have the ability to do username and password for RTMP prior. Now they have added that. So you just check this box here and you have your username and password. So if that's a requirement for you, before we were doing all kinds of weird stuff, you had to put it in the string to be able to get that to work. And I never like putting my username and password, especially for RTMP in a string anywhere. So having it this way is definitely gonna be a better option. So that's pretty cool too. Another area that they have improved, and I've talked about this, I think, before, but a couple of us got into the uh, Facebook group for StreamYard um, complaining about the, I think it was a 30 second overlay in terms of video that you could do before. And they um, they heard the cries of the community and they increased that limit to five minutes. So now you can do a video a five minute video overlay in StreamYard, and I have put that to the test. I've, I've gone right up to four minutes and 59 seconds, which is pretty cool. Um, another thing that they have done is, so I, I, I have a, a, a one video that I, where I go through how to get pro audio in StreamYard, and that is by coming in here and disabling um, the audio processing. So here's the thing though, you do want to be sure to uh, not only check that box, but have headphones on. The person who checks the box needs to have on headphones so you don't create a loop. Um, if you don't have on headphones, you wanna have that, that box unchecked because it's gonna have on echo cancellation and several other things to keep your audio clean. But if you're using pro audio, if you're using a pro mic, if you, or if you have a full on production and you've got a full band and everything coming out of a mixer going into a, a, a USB audio interface and into StreamYard, you're going to want to have that thing checked um, because that's going to give you full audio. Now, here's the thing. The upgrade that they've done isn't so much that they've changed this setting. This setting is still the same setting that I put in my first StreamYard video, but you do they have actually gone through and increased the pipe so before you were only get able to get a certain amount of audio in i mean it, they we crammed it in there but i have noticed a significant increase over the last two weeks um, in, in, especially streaming at church where you're hearing everything clearly now the band i mean the the, the bass the drummer the, the the lead guitar everybody is just 
pronounced now and before it was kind of blended it was some of them were muted especially the kick from the drums but now you're hearing everything hi-hat cymbals i mean when the bass does a lick you hear it and i mean what the first sabbath we went live with audio um after they had upgraded this piece of Streamyard, the comment section was just filled with people saying wow the band sounds phenomenal uh so we 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 experienced that upgrade live <laughs> so i want to make sure we let you guys know that they have upgraded audio in Streamyard. it's not some setting that you need to check uh if you um have been checking this box to, to disable audio processing that's still the one you want to do but they have upgraded the sound and allowed far more um uh audio to come into the system and 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 gives your audience a much better experience uh to 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 watch your show so yeah that's 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 a big one that they've done and one that you definitely want to be made aware of one other thing that we have in Streamyard is uh, as as an update right this is not really the the biggest thing but before if you wanted to change your name you had to come out of Streamyard and go back in now you can come in here and click these three buttons and edit your name right here which which is definitely a, an improvement to what we were doing before and the host has the ability to edit the name of the people who are guests on the show which again is another function that we should have had long ago so now if you look in the bottom corner you see that i have uh, my ipad is there and uh, so i'm gonna uh, unlock it now and there is my ipad so i'm gonna switch this around for us to be able to see the ipad and i'm i'm going into safari where i've already got Streamyard pulled up and i'm clicking allow um probably just gonna leave it muted and keep the camera on <laughs> so you can see the different views here enter broadcast studio i'm calling it ipad and i'm in and um you're seeing my other camera and my guy henry here on Streamyard, and in Streamyard you have the same uh, features as you have um, in the other one. But now, like I said, you can control with mobile. You can actually host your show on your mobile device, whether you be your iPad or your phone, uh, Android or iOS, doesn't matter. You can control it with mobile now. And so you've got banners. All my banner folders are here. Brand, if I need to make some changes to the brand, if I want to pull up, uh, a flyer real quick and there's the flyer it looks like it takes a double click to do that if I want to see comments I have that option there too and again double click and the comment appears double click and it doesn't and then if I need to change videos I can click on guests and it comes up in this fashion and then I can tap here. Looks like um, my daughter has decided to join the stream. So I'm tap there and I have control of the other ones as well. I can close that down. And then there you have it. I mean, it's essentially all the different things that you would need in, to host a show in StreamYard. You can do that now from your device um, and 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 I mean, if, if you need to, even on the go, if you need to uh, have a backup machine, I, I had an issue once where my machine, we thought it was plugged into power and it was not plugged into power. So during a live show, my machine died. But here's the beauty of StreamYard, since it's all cloud connected, the person that was speaking was still speaking and I was able to connect back in on another machine. I didn't have the mobile device at that time, but I guess I could now. But I was able to connect back in on another machine and continue to produce the show even though my machine had died. So listen, a lot of different things. A lot of it's a versatile platform, crazy stuff coming down the pike. So here we have nine people in the studio um, you can get up to 10, but I could only get nine in here to begin with. Actually, I do have 10 in here, but one of the videos is not viewable. And I think my son is trying to connect right now, but 
he can't get in because the studio is now full. But as you can see, we've moved from six as a maximum to 10 as a maximum. And I know for a fact you can add in a machine that um, you can share the screen from. So you can actually get 11 in backstage, but you can get 10 videos on screen. I don't know what 10 videos is gonna look like when you share a screen, but I wanted to share this with you so you have that as a perspective. Family, StreamYard recognizes the unique opportunity this moment presents us. Um, they have a partnership with ViewStub, which is a new platform probably an old platform, but they have retooled themselves to be modern with the times. Um, and ViewStub enables you to monetize your live stream, or if you don't wanna monetize, it allows you to just set up free registration for your virtual conference powered by StreamYard. I mean, they're packing in features uh, regularly, so you gotta keep up. ViewStub is definitely something you wanna check out, and hey, it might even be worth a video. Let me know in the comment section below. I'm your boy, Kirk Nugent, AKA the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. We'll see you in the next video. Later!